If you want to get into game streaming or just want to see the latest cutting edge PC gaming tech, then you've certainly come to the right place. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through absolutely everything you need to know about capturing, recording, and streaming all from a PC, regardless of whether you're just starting out and want to capture a few different game highlights, or you want to create the perfect PC streaming den for all things Twitch and YouTube gaming. A big shout out to both Nvidia and Scan Computers who reached out and wanted to sponsor this video, in addition to Elgato because they have sent so much streaming stuff out for this, it is absolutely insane. If you are interested in picking up any of this gear, or at least learning Learning about current pricing, you can find it all linked globally down below, with UK retailer Scan offering the PC Gamer absolutely everything you could ask for, and they were actually the first company I used to buy all of the gear for my very first gaming PC, and look at me now. The very first step to getting started with game streaming is actually just to chill a little bit. With videos I guess like this one, and of course all of those high-end streams that you see on Twitch, it's probably quite intimidating and the barrier of entry you might think is very high. But the thing that's going to make your stream stand out and the thing that is going to make people want to watch you is you. It's about what you're offering, how you're playing, what you're, I don't know, showing off on camera, right? Having good lighting, having a good webcam, I don't know, all of this stuff can help to make your stream look even more professional and better. But the fundamental core is you and getting started with the limited equipment that you have now is far, far more important than maybe thinking you need to save up and buy all of this stuff to make it possible. Because I'm telling you, that is far, far from the truth. Actually, it's quite the opposite, as capturing game footage requires no additional hardware whatsoever. And a 15 pan webcam can do the job for the first few months, absolutely no problems at all. Gameplay capture was made effortless many years ago by Nvidia's NVENC encoder, and it's now better than ever. Simply grab an Nvidia RTX GPU for the best experience, and you'll not only have the power to play the games, but their baked in encoder and decoder can capture and stream the gameplay for you without requiring a massive CPU to do the job. Pretty much all of the gameplay that you see on my channel is actually recorded in this manner, and the beauty of it is that because you're using that baked in encoder, it barely affects your FPS at all, so you can just focus on enjoying your game while recording and not really having to experience any FPS loss. That's the gameplay bit sorted then. But having a decent microphone is crucial to the viewer's enjoyment. No one wants to listen to whiny, noisy mics, so this is the first area to invest in if you can. A gaming headset should be absolutely fine for beginners, but the thing to buy is a standalone mic, something like Elgato's Wave 3. The audio quality is a massive step up from any gaming headset. This one's also got very clear buttons and LEDs, so you always know your levels and it's very easy to use on the fly, but if you grab one that is USB, it's basically compatible with any computer without any extra equipment. Elgato's system is very neat actually, as you can expand it with a shock mount, pop filter, and any additional mounting hardware, and its very small size means that it's very easy to fit, move around, and just use on stream. In an ideal world, you want to be working from a super quiet environment with no background noise at all, but obviously, it's real life, these things exist, you're probably putting your setup somewhere in your house, but ultimately no one wants their mum calling them for dinner during the background of a stream. And I'm telling you, I think this has actually happened to me a few years ago, and it is embarrassing, I'm, I'm telling you, you don't want that. Okay mum, I'll be down in just a second. But you said you weren't gonna do pasta tonight. So this is exactly where the hot new release from Nvidia comes in, Broadcast. This free, yes, free bit of software makes everyone's stream look professional all without expensive equipment or bulky accessories. It works with artificial intelligence and on RTX GPUs to eliminate background noise in your recordings, and it is scary how well it works. This is a test of the background noise removal, so currently we have it turned on, so I'm touching the keyboard, and in theory, you shouldn't be able to hear that, and then as soon as we turn the technology off, well, you tell me, does this sound very different? I'm doing exactly the same thing, and I imagine that would get quite annoying. For gameplay compilations, of course, absolutely no camera is needed. But if you really want to build your personality into a brand and put a load of English jokes in there as often as possible, then you're gonna need a camera or a webcam to get started. You'd be surprised just how far a very cheap webcam can get you. The Logitech one that I'm using here, I think I bought around about five, six years ago for probably about 20 pounds. And sure, it's definitely not the sharpest thing out there, but for a small section of a 1080p stream, on the whole, it don't look too bad. The really cool thing though is that Nvidia's broadcast software can now take this to an entirely new level with their fancy camera effects. There are a whole bunch of different effects that you can choose from though and you can adjust this on the fly. So here we have background blur and this makes my 
pretty shoddy quality webcam look a whole lot more professional with some nice background blur. But if we wanted to be somewhere else completely, we could do background replacement. And now you can see I'm in Civilization 6. Not sure why you'd want that, but I mean, <laughs> there we go. I'm now in Civilization 6. Then our final effect is called Auto Frame. And this is going to be really useful if you frequently move around a lot because the camera will actually follow you up, down. You can control the zoom level. And again, do all of this stuff on the fly. If you do want to look even more professional though, especially if you're going to cut just to you for a period of time, you want to grab a cam link. This incredibly useful bit of kit from Elgato is self-powered over USB and it takes a clean HDMI feed from your camera and then sends it to your PC. And the difference really is night and day if you're doing full screen viewing. Of course, the quality will be dependent on the camera that you're using, but here, my Sony a6500 sits right at home. The secret to a good looking stream though is a lot more than just having a good camera. It's all about the lighting. This is, this is, this is strong. Oh no, I forgot to say my pun. Lighting is key. Again, Elgato will sell you a lot of lighting gear with these studio key lights that I use in my videos day to day, as well as their brand new ring lights, which actually makes a whole lot of sense for streaming. But remember what I said at the start, you do not need all of this gear. Don't get me wrong, having all of this stuff is really useful and it will make your stream look better. The ring light in particular is really cool because you can mount your camera on it, you can control it with these buttons, and you can even set the software to turn it on when you start your stream, turn it off when you finish, all of this stuff is really cool. But if you're just getting started, you can go down to your local hardware store, buy a super bright 5500 Kelvin light bulb for around about 10 pounds, put that in your main fitting, and the difference that will make will blow your mind. It's the, it could well be the difference between your stream looking a bit naff and actually not looking bad. Other tips are just to let in plenty of light from your windows, maybe position lamps on your desk to keep yourself well lit, and maybe try out some Philips Hue or LifeX lighting that will add a little bit of colour in your background. Something else that is really cool and so so useful for streamers though is this. It's called Elgato's Stream Deck, it comes in a few different sizes, and this is the difference between your stream being really easy to operate and it just being, I don't know, a little bit meh. This absolutely wondrous tool lets you start streaming, control lights, send out tweets, so much stuff, all from just a button on your desk. No hotkeys to remember, just pure illustrated control over your stream and your setup. I use one absolutely every single day and I think it's a game changer for both creators, streamers and anyone with a whole lot of lights. And then the last thing to consider before we actually start talking about setting all of this stuff up is if you want to stream from your console. Obviously you're going to need something that's going to act as like a bridge between the console and the PC so you're going to need to get yourself a capture card. Many brands of capture cards are available but the one I have here is from, you guessed it, Elgato. And these capture cards work via pass-through, so the HDMI signal goes straight to your monitor for lag-free viewing, while the data is then mirrored to your PC. Just set it up in your capture software, add your mic and webcam, and then you're away. So then, that I think is all of the gear that you might want to consider if you're building a streaming setup. Remember that you don't need all of it, but it does give you some options to consider if you're looking to upgrade. But what about setting it up? Well actually, this bit these days is incredibly simple, just don't buy a stupid amount of gear because it will take you a lot longer. Step one is to install your shiny new RTX graphics card. And here we have ASUS's TUF 3080. This will give us a lovely performance overhead to stream and play without stutter, but don't forget that that 3070 is right around the corner too, and will cost even less. You will need to pair it with a decent CPU. Ryzen's are always a favorite as you get more cores and this is great for streaming, but I'd say anything with six to eight cores or more should be ideal. Then, if you're using one, plug in your capture card to one of the slots below it. Just make sure that it is supported by your motherboard and try to give it as much breathing room as possible. As for your PC monitors, having two is a huge help for streamers. I've tried ultra wide before and it can work, but having two 16x9 screens is just so much easier to work with. Connect your USB mic to your PC, mounting it in such a way that any vibrations on your desk or from your PC won't go into the mic itself. The webcam should be fitted as centrally to your gaming monitor as possible if you're after the most natural look, but ultimately it is your stream, so as long as they can see your attractive and beautiful face, Everyone's a winner, unless you're a foot model, then I don't really know how that would work. If you are using any studio lights, fit them now. 45 degree angles to your face usually works best for any key lights, 
but if you are going to go for the ring lights, then I would recommend a tripod if you have the room, as it was a little bit wobbly on my desk, but I suppose it depends how angry you get while gaming. Then you need to power on your PC, and lose yourself in the beauty that you've created for a fair few seconds, and then install some software. The crucial ones are NVIDIA Broadcast, GeForce Experience, and OBS, but if you have any accessories, they usually have their own tools and drivers. This is the bit where things will change depending on what software you want to use or whether you're streaming or recording, but either way it is still pretty simple. For basic game recording, log into GeForce Experience and then navigate to share. Here you can change your options for recording, with the most basic ones being to set your resolution, refresh rate and whether you want your mic to be on. Then you just boot up a game, hit Alt and F9 and you're in business. You can also broadcast this way to Twitch and YouTube by using the camera too, so if you're after a seamless streaming experience, this is by far the easiest way to go. But if you want a more advanced, polished and customizable stream, then you're going to want some more dedicated software, and the one I've always used, because it's completely free, is OBS. Open Broadcaster Software, I believe. The automatic setup tool should be a very good starting point. Just make sure that your canvas resolution is the same as your gaming monitor, and the output resolution is 1080p, assuming you have the bandwidth for this. A good old wired connection is strongly recommended, but understanding bitrate is crucial. The higher the video bitrate, the less artifacts and better looking your gameplay will be. But if your connection isn't good enough, it will then start to stutter out, and of course that will look even worse. Run a speed test to see exactly what upload speed you're getting, and then if you can, choose around about 8 megabits per second, though I'd say 4 or more should get the job done. After all, you can always lower the resolution down if you're having bandwidth issues. Make sure that the encoder is set to NVENC, as this way you're going to be taking full advantage of that RTX graphics card. Then it's just a case of adding your game source, setting your mic input, and then adding your camera. Ensure both the camera and the mic are set to NVIDIA Broadcast if you want to use their fancy effects, and then you're going to need to log into all of the accounts that you're going to want to stream on with all the details on Twitch and YouTube respectively. And then that's pretty much all there is to it really. Set yourself some hotkeys to quickly start and stop a stream with ease, or of course use the Stream Deck, and then get streaming. Once again, it's not about the gear you have. As long as you have a decent internet connection, you can actually create a stream, you have a PC that's powerful enough to actually do this, then everything is really up to you. The main thing when people say to me, how did you get started in YouTube? How did you get to where you are now? The answer is just putting the time in. There is no other variable to it. If you want to start streaming, you have to do it. If you're the sort of person that's say, yeah, I'll get round to it, you never will. You have to put yourself in the seat, start streaming, and persevere through very low view counts and no one being interested until you get to the point where actually people are. We got very serious for a second there, didn't we? Maybe I should change jobs, I should be a life coach now. I don't know, Pro probably not a good idea. Let me know your thoughts though on this streaming setup. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. It really does help out, you wouldn't believe. Have you tried Nvidia Broadcast by the way? Make sure you do give that a go. As I say, it's completely free if you have an RTX graphics card. But yeah, for more videos just like this, you can find them in the end screen. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Links are all down below. I'll see you in the next one.